Welcome to our next section. I'm Dr. Sanjay Sanyal and I have with me some very special MD1 students. So today we are going to demonstrate only the small intestine and insofar as it differs from the large intestine and also what are the differences between the different parts of the, large uh, the small intestine. So we have harvested the entire small intestine from, the, from this cadaver here. And that is what you can see in front of you here. So this is, we have cut it at the DJ flexure, at the duodenal junction at this end, and at this at the other end, we have cut it at the, just a little away from the ileocecal junction. As I told you in class, the small intestine is about six to seven meters long, but of course in the cadaver, because of preservation artifact and everything else, it, is not, it may not look that long, but you can see that this is, I'm, I'm tracing the small intestine now, and this is exactly what we do in surgery also. We just keep tracing to see where is the site of pathology, and this is how we keep tracing it. And I'm tracing the small intestine all along. As I'm doing it, when I reach the end, I would like you to notice a few things. And I'm almost reaching the end. One is the difference in the texture between the proximal part, that is the jejunum, and as I went more distally, the ileum. What do we notice? Straight away we notice that the jejunum is much more thicker, is thicker, is more muscular, and in the living specimen, it will be more pink in color because it's highly vascular. But of course, in the cadaver, we cannot say about the vascularity because the blood vessels do not uh, last anymore. But you can still see and you can feel also that it is thicker. On, in contrast, the ileum is it's pale thin. and it's much thin here. Okay, that's one difference. The next thing is, let me open, I've opened up the mucosa of the, the, the jejunum here. And you can clearly see that the jejunal mucosa is much more folded into much more multiple folds, the one which we call as plicae circularis, the circular folds. They are much more dense and they are located in the jejunum. And as we go more and more distally, and as we reach the terminal ileum, and we will see that the terminal ileum, it is almost smooth and flat. So you can hardly see any mucosal folds. And if we are lucky enough and if we see carefully enough, we may be able to see some pear's patches, but then again, in a, in a cadaver specimen, we may not be able to see it. So this is another difference that we notice between the jejunum and the ileum. By the way, the jejunum constitutes the proximal two-fifths of the small intestine, and the ileum constitutes the distal uh, three-fifths of the small intestine. Before I show you the other differences, let me show you that when I was tracing the small intestine, I told you it is six to seven meters long, and this is just the cut segment of this mesentery. And I told you in class, the mesentery, mesentric attachment is much, much smaller than the total length of the small intestine. The mesentric attachment is only from here to here. And as I told you, it is from the right sacroiliac joint to the left L2 vertebra. So this is the cut end of the mesentery that you can see. That means the entire small intestine is thrown into numerous multiple loops and coils which are packed inside the abdomen. Okay. Having said that, now let us show you some other mo more salient differences between the jejunum and the ileum. For this, I'm going to hold up a loop of the jejunum against the light. And I would advise all of you to come this side so that you can see much more clearly. Now, I'm holding up this jejunum to the light. And what do you notice? I would like you to mention what you notice here. Can, can you hold it for me, please? Who's wearing a glove? The way I'm holding it up? Hold it up to the light. Yes. When you hold it up to the light, what do you notice? Hold it up to the light like this, yes. You can see, first of all, that there's only one or uh, one arterial arcade. Just one, 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 one. And the long vasa recta. Can you see? True. The long vasa recta. And the third thing that you notice is that the light is shining through the, mu mm. the, the mesentery. That means the fat is not so much. The fat is not so, so much. That's why you can see the light shining through. And you can notice that the fat, because it's not too much, it is not encroaching much. It is stopping short of the intestinal wall. Can you see? It is stopping short here. You can see the transparency here. Mm -hmm. So these are the essential differences that we mentioned in the class also about the vascular pattern and the arterial arcades in the jejunum. Now I'm going to do the same exercise with the terminal part, that is the ileum. And this is our terminal part. And I would like you to hold it up against, again for me to the line. Stretch it out nicely for me, please, and hold it up. And what do we notice? First of all, we can see the fat is much more dense and therefore the light is not shining through so easily. And you can see that the fat is encroaching also onto the intestinal wall. Apart from the fact what I mentioned about the intestine itself, you can see that the fat is much more dense. And no, no, hold it here please for me. Yes, stretch it out, yes. 
and you can see that the fat is much more dense therefore the light is not shining so and you can see how many vascular arcades are there one two three multiple layers of vascular arcades are there and so they are reaching almost to the intestinal wall and after that the vasa recta are, are, small. are smaller in number mm -hmm. and the fat is extending and encroaching onto the intestinal wall can you see here mm -hmm. so therefore there is hardly any place in the mesentery where it is transparent so this is another important difference that we so whatever we mentioned you saw it here for yourself so these are the, all the essential differences and the parts of the small intestine that i wanted to show you thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen Have